do your caricature, seen as your Willie and Abel. So come on off stage. <laughs> So what's your name? Tanja. Tanja. Oh, excellent. Okay, and um, I'm going to draw your caricature. And I think the perfect character for you is the Little Mermaid. <laughs> perfect. I'm going to first draw your caricature, which is a bit of fun. And then once I've done your head, I'll start talking about the, the app. Sure, the head is the hardest part. <laughs> uh, well, I can do this in my sleep, so... Okay, so I'm just going to do your eyes, and eyes are the window to your soul. So if I get this right, we're halfway there. Okay, now tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm a marketing consultant. I'm trying to do my PhD proposal about female entrepreneurship. Oh, nice. Brilliant. I love that. Okay, well, I'll try to capture that because this is all about you. Do mermaids wear glasses? They should. Yeah, they like playing with human stuff, so well, I'm going <laughs> to just show a really cool thing that this app has. If I wanted to do circles, and I can't do perfect circles, if I hold the pen down, it does it for me. So if I've gone too big, hold the pen, and then it shrinks down. That's pretty cool. What's this app called? It's called Procreate. And I spent quite a few hours learning it, and I love it. It does absolutely everything, which you're going to see in a minute. Um, so why the mermaid? What, what's the uh, story behind the mermaid for you? Well, uh, Disney is doing a live um, action um, movie of inclusion. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, well you're going to see it in about five minutes. So now I'm going to, I'm actually going to press this button at the top. You can see it's blue and I'm able to shrink you down a bit. And that really, really helps, helps me a lot. So um, I'm now going to do all this amazing hair. And of course you're in the water. So I'm going to do a water effect in the end as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> On stage, I have to forget about being a perfectionist because people aren't very patient. So I need to do it quickly. Okay, so your hair. I'm going to show you this other cool um, trick. When I haven't got time, I actually can block the blackout and it does it all for me. But I'm going to just close it off a bit. So if I don't close off the line, it does what it just did. I'm going to do it again. And that looked like I did that accident on purpose. Okay. So that speeds up a lot of my work. I'm going to give you a thing thing with your tail. And I, I'm actually going to drag it to there. But you're going to see this really cool button here. It's called the alpha lock. And once I've locked that in, I can now start, I'm going to use an airbrush. I can now start making it sort of a shimmery, silvery. And if I don't like a color, I can always reverse it. I absolutely hated that color, so I'm going to find another color. If I want a, a really cool color, I can actually change it to more bluey. So now I've done that. That's a bit more attractive. Okay. There we go. So the airbrush isn't the only cool button on this. I can actually go to another one that's called Luminous. And I'm going to do this in white. And I'm now going to do some sparkle. I'm going to add some more just there. Picture. So that's just the tail done. And that's super, super quick. And that's why I absolutely love it. I'm going to take the alpha lock off. 
and I'm actually going to drag this layer underneath your line drawing. And then I'm going to start doing some colouring. And there's a reason why I block in the colour, because everything is going to be on top of a, a, a watery scene. And I don't want the watery scene to come through any bits, so I have to colour everything in solid. So uh, I don't want to miss anything, the perfectionist in me. Now my husband's in the audience, he's probably laughing going, what did she mean about perfectionist? Because I'm definitely not a perfectionist at home. Okay, so I've got airbrush. I'm now going to do some shading on your face. And that's why I've got the block color. So now I've already got the highlights and the sort of 2, 3D, sorry, effect. And now I'm doing some more shading, lots of shading. This tool is amazing because I can really keep everything soft. And if I press harder on the pen, I get a, a darker line. So it's just amazing, this surface that I'm working on. You can put some on your top of your lip there. Every time I hear that beat, I think that's my heart on the mic. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing, and we're nearly done. I'm going to try to capture that color of her top. It's a kind of weird purpley color. Move there. I think that's it. I'm going to block it. Okay, I'm not going to do too much detail there. I'm just going to do another bit of green, and then we're, we're good. There we go. Okay, I think that's enough detail for now. This is the really fun bit. I'm going to drag this one right underneath all the drawing that I've done. And I'm now going to do a, a, blue, a blue sea sting. Let's, let me get the airbrush. Okay, and we're gonna go right behind it all. And this makes sense now why I blocked, block colored everything. And because it's the C, I'll start slightly darker at the bottom. I want this a bit more blue. Okay, so this is, normally when I do a sky scene, it's dark at the top. But I'm pressing hard down there. And I'll do some some bubbles. Let's see if I can get this to work. And there are your bubbles. There's some Nemo fans in the audience. Okay. Now I could put a shark in there, but I think we'll we'll leave that. Is that okay? Thank you. Now I just want to show one more trick. If I wanted to, I could show you the whole process done live. And this actually comes as a default. So we use this for our animation. It's amazing. And then the other cool thing is after the show, I will airdrop it to you. Okay, thank you, you've been wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, bye. Right, any questions? Any artists in the audience? Does anyone want to be an artist? Because I've got a little trick up my sleeve. Let's see if I can find. Can you all get your iPhones out, please, and go into your notes? So if you go into your, into your iPhone and you go into notes, you get a page that has a picture of a pencil. And we're going to have a go drawing this guy. Then I want you to take your thumbs, because we only really use our thumbs nowadays. <laughs> and I'm going to teach you how to draw Batman with your thumb. I want you to take a very pointy triangle, straight up like that, and then a little curve, and connect it with another triangle. You can see Batman already. Okay. And then we want to do a triangle on its side. 
pointing to the left. And a triangle to the right. And if anyone gets stuck, there's a little redo button that you can press. And then we've got another triangle going down like that. Then another line there and another line, so left and right. I'm looking at my sons. I hope they are doing it and they're not on their games. <laughs> they are doing it. Oh, okay, excellent. And then we're going to do a, sort of a funny shape like that. And that's going to be his chin. Okay. Now Batman is miserable, so we're going to do a little arch downwards and a little dot or stroke under that arch. How are we doing? And then that's it. So go from the first ear straight down. Second ear straight down. How are we doing? <laughs> Terribly. Okay. But that's pretty much the first art lesson you need to get you going. So if you could do that with your thumb, you could do it with a pen, you could do it with a computer. So I want to see your homework tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, I think that's it. And uh, thanks very much. <laughs> Let's have a big round of applause. Thank you.